down to 19 degrees in Burlington, 12 in Plattsburgh. It's 1 in Saranac Lake. Cold there. We've got some single digits in the Adirondacks. 13 in Newport, but still about 16 in Lebanon, 21 in Springfield. We got a clear sky and a mostly light wind that will allow our temperatures to likely fall a couple more degrees later this morning. But once that sun comes up in the next hour and 45 minutes, there will be plenty of it. Storm tracker barely showing anything. Later on this afternoon, a little bit of a different story. You can see some thinner clouds approaching as this little line of uh, showers also approaches. We'll get the high cirrus clouds first, followed by some more and more of those clouds later on this evening. Overnight, this is a weak boundary. It's going to pass through and it is going to bring us some showers, probably in the form of some snow early, early tomorrow morning, maybe late tonight. But other than that, it's still pretty quiet out there and it's not going to have a huge impact on our temperatures. Today is just another warm day, in fact, warmer than it was over the weekend. We've got that sunshine, especially in the first part of the day. Temperatures jumping back up into the mid 20s by about the 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock hour. Then noontime, mid 30s, and from there we get back up near 40 for the afternoon and evening hours. Again, sunshine for a big portion of the day, but more and more clouds as the afternoon progresses. That's ahead of that boundary. Here's that boundary showing some of those afternoon clouds later today and this evening evening, but we'll find some sunny moments in between and a few of those stray snow showers overnight tonight as that boundary passes through. But keep in mind, it's not very organized and it's not going to be a lot of snow. In fact, behind it, we'll find a mix of sun and clouds on your Tuesday. Probably more of those clouds, especially if you're in the mountains and the occasional stray snow shower and or rain to snow shower Tuesday night into early on Wednesday morning. This is a second boundary or front that's going to pass through and it is a lot stronger and it's going to bring us some huge changes by the time we head into Wednesday. So we're in the 40s the next couple of days. First few days of spring here, not too bad. Wednesday, a high near 19 degrees, bitter cold. Plus, we have the wind on Wednesday sustained near 15 miles per hour. It's going to be brutally cold on Wednesday, especially for this time of year. Thursday starts to recover and we get some sunshine. Then we are back into the 40s by Friday and Saturday with a few more of those showers.